Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, 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 the internet technological achievement of my, uh, of my laboratory about the haptic technology. The haptic technology is the touch sensation technology. And uh, first of all, please think of one thing like this. So, information technology supports the human by stimulating the sensing organs. For example, screen of TVs and computers uh, stimulate the human visual organs, eyes. Speakers and headphones uh, stimulate the uh, ears uh, and uh, send the signal uh, with the uh, auditory signal. Then, what is the haptic, what is the haptic stimulator around us in our daily life? We can find some examples. For example, a massage machine is a kind of artificial tactile stimulator. And vibrator of the cell phone is also one example uh, to tell the incoming call. But apparently, the contribution to the human activity is poorer than visual or audio uh, stimulator. So, why is tactile perception not used? Haptic perception is not so important for the human. No, probably, probably at no. We cannot spend only a single day without uh, using haptic information. The haptic information is very essential information uh, for us to express our will and to do what we want to do. So, probably, I believe the answer is tactile stimulation is technically difficult because skin has a large area covering the whole human body and the haptic stimulation need mechanical contact to the device because haptic sensation arises when we touch the object. Therefore, this is a very excellent device, but the, the typical uh, haptic stimulator is Bulky like this. Uh, it is a full of mechanic, mechanic, mechanical system. So, then today's topic is is it possible to simulate human skin with a non contact object or remote, remotely? If it is possible, I believe we can support human activity uh, with by stimulating the uh, human skin and back to the haptic sensation. Okay. Then, uh, recently, we found a good tool to stimulate the human skin remotely. That is ultrasound. Ultrasound is only sound uh, whose frequency is higher than the human audible brain. But, uh, as you know, uh, after uh, sound is an uh, 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 AC signal, and uh, usually uh, uh, the average of the signal is zero for a weak uh, power uh, sound. But uh, because uh, since the wavelength of the other sound is short, uh, we can easily uh, convert the ultrasound into a very small spot and we can create a very high intensity, intensity sound uh, locally. And uh, if the sound density becomes high, becomes high, output. The interesting thing happens. So that is the uh, average of the sound uh, is not zero and has a, a certain offset non zero offset uh, proportion to the sound power. Therefore, uh, the ultrasound wave can push an object intercepting the ultrasound uh, beam. That is called radiation pressure. The radiation pressure, the phenomenon, is well known, is well known in physics, already, already well known in physics. And our contribution is proposing this phenomenon 
for haptic imaging. Okay. This is the ultrasound from the other area. Each ultrasound array is a usual, usual ultrasound transducer used for distant measurement and signal transmission. And the array has 100 elements. And this, this, this is the focal point of the ultrasound with high ultrasound energy. And the radiation pressure is pushing up the peak of the paper. Then, using this, uh, we can simulate the human skin remotely without contact. And uh, if we uh, control the pace or timing of uh, each, trans trans each other trans transmitter, uh, we can easily uh, control the position of the force. And uh, of course, the of, we can also control the amplitude of the force. And it's even possible that uh, we uh, push the human skin anywhere on skin uh, work of the peak of the use of the of the uh, of the man uh, working in the room uh, using the ultrasound array. Uh, mounted on the ceiling of the room. If the aperture is sufficiently large, <coughs> okay, then what if uh, we combine this ultrasound simulation to a 3D visual image? Okay, I will show the video of Okay, uh, this is a 3D image created by uh, Solar Vision. That is the name of the product. That is a US company. And it's not a new thing. You can buy it uh, from a US company. It's also an uh, uh, important challenge to realize a good photography. But, okay, uh, this kind of thing is also possible to do now. But we cannot change as touch the virtual image. But uh, if we if we change the angle <coughs> location and uh, hopefully ah, okay. ah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this is not a holography. It's a only floating image using a concave mirror. And it is uh, used for a distant time. So here, please. OK. OK, if this sensor, uh, this sensor has the hand location and computing by computing the image, we can make it interactive. But it's not new. And my our contribution is asking tactile uh, reaction to it. And this is the ultrasound array I explained now. And this is the focal point. The focal point is controlled really like this. Then, if we combine this uh, and non contact force with uh, 3D image, we can feel as if we are touching something here. And if the uh, simulation, structural simulation is perfect, we can uh, uh, distinguish between the real contact and the virtual contact. Uh, 
an easy application of the technology is replacement of uh, touch panel. Touch panel is uh, especially in public space, in the, in the place like uh, such a hospital, uh, uh, touching uh, many people uh, touch the touch panel is not good in a country region. But if we create a virtual image uh, with tactile reaction, uh, we can uh, realize a uh, no contact uh, touch display. And it will be desired by in country region. And, but next, uh, let's take this consideration further. And uh, we, let's uh, think the meaning of this technology again. Okay? Keyboard, we, ha we have an inter computer interface, conventional computer interface, like keyboard. Keyboard has a 3D shape. Okay. But the shape is not a programmable. Therefore, recently, we use frequently touch panel. Touch panel is good it's because it's programmable. The design can be free from program. But the problem is that it loads the 3D shape. So, and uh, sometimes we feel, we feel uh, keyboard is better. So, is it possible to make touch interface 3D and programmable? One solution of this would be uh, inventing a mechanism or material that can change, it, the, change its form freely, three dimensionally. But another easier uh, proposal by us is to combine 3D image and non-contact tactile simulation. Okay. <coughs> Uh, this is Alta Sandu Kabita, uh, and uh, this is the animation form. Please imagine your hand is there. Please imagine your hand is there. And if we combine this with visual image, we can test what it has been. And uh, what the uh, of course, then if the image is like this, we can create a virtual non-contact, uh, virtual uh, interface like this. But now, this is a two-dimensional interface. This is based on the two-dimensional interface. But here, we find we are no longer uh, limited to two-dimensional template. We can create uh, a free uh, design of three dimensional, three dimensional. This one, or even things like simple like this. And uh, we can design the three dimensional interface, three D, programmable three D interface, three D. And uh, it's easy. We can touch even and um, realistic object like like this. And uh, we can play with the uh, <laughs> kind of feature. Okay, my conclusion of this talk is that uh, combining using the contact uh, factor display, uh, we can design, we, we have a great, a big freedom of design of a 3D interface. Thank you.